So when doing a review or two of every major update to come to Don't Starve Together in 2022, I sorta of came to realize how little attention I actually gave to one of these releases and its gameplay potential, The Year of the Cat Coon. And yeah, sure, the content itself was covered as thoroughly as always, even though it was very self-explanatory, and cute of course, but I really should have went and put two and two together once Clay also introduced the ability to turn any event on or off at will this year, a prospect that I myself took plenty Plenty of advantage of for a couple other videos related to this very idea, as let's just say it pays to have a feline friend at the end of the day, especially if we're still lost in the woods. So best get to building a cat coon shrine everyone, as there's more to this event than meets the eye. But unlike what Wikibata might be suggesting, the only offering we need to unlock any of these recipes is from one of the many rats with wings in this world, including a Melbatross and or Moose Goose Mind. Lay a feather on the shrine, and our ultimate prize will be divine. Well, as long as we've got at least one lucky gold nugget from any of the year of events, that is. But Tycoon is our highlighted mob of the day, folks, and that is indeed what he is. He's got 200 health, deals 30 damage a swipe, offers a loot table, and then some. But before we get to any of that, let us recall his true purpose, leading us to newly introduce Kit Coons. As long as we follow his lead, no Kit Coon will stay missing. And we can do just that for up to 8 total Kit Coons in our world. This was and is what this event is all about, apart from some optional fun and games with these found kit coons essentially. However, if you really start to think about it, it goes much, much deeper than that. This cheap and little mob just mapped and led us to eight unique biomes spread across the entire world itself, and if we cannot find one of these for some reason, this guy is our ticket to it. And yes, this includes the typically elusive lunar island, believe it or not. No, not kidding. Tycoon walks towards the nearest Kit Coon in his mind, and with a Kit Coon waiting to be found on the islands each and every world, that can easily mean an early discovery potentially. And this is why we're here today, everyone. This is why we are revisiting this event a year later, as the utility of such a mob cannot go underappreciated any longer. But I will warn you, this whole thing definitely has its limits. For you see, Tycoon loves his straight lines for whatever reason, and that is absolutely to a fault and to an annoyance to us, especially in looped worlds. The guy gets stuck trying to navigate to the little ones all the flippin' time, and seeing this is probably gonna get you quite excited to find the island, but he's really just being too lazy to go around the obstacles most of the time. And yeah, sure, we can easily push him to get him back on track, however the only track he is on is gonna be the only thing that he cares about. For example, I purposely spawned a tycoon right under the island to get him to navigate to it, only for him to pick up a scent of a cacoon that was apparently closer than this, and nothing is gonna change his mind about it unless he dies and we make a new one. So just know that the mapping capabilities of this guy are only as good as us playing his own game until he is ready to show us what we want, if you know what I mean. But it absolutely still has huge gameplay implications, so do not ignore it. Especially if you've actually already found a Kit Coon or two without him, which is indeed possible, as that means you have less worry of him traveling to some place you don't want to go. What's also possible, though, is that your tycoon is going to die on any of these journeys as the guy is quite vulnerable to the environments. Heck, he's even vulnerable to his own kind for Pete's sake. Yes, your eyes and ears do not deceive you. Other cat coons will target and kill any tycoon nearby, so make notes. This does bring up the question of farming tycoons, however, and while I suppose it is indeed plausible, the loot isn't as good as normal cat coons at the end of the day. Tycoons only drop meat and cat kales 50 and 5% of the time respectively, so you're gonna have to do the math yourself. Is it worth the million lucky gold nuggets you can get from the year of the cat coon alone, or not? But before we go, yes, tycoons are simply there to help us find all eight kit coons in our random worlds so that we can collect them all in a nursery eventually in order to get the ninth and final kit coon right here. 
And why wait till the end to mention this, you ask? Well, because I kind of figured this was a tycoon guide after all, so I best cover all my bases to make sure the comments don't actually misconstrued what this video is meant to be. But hey, it's probably just me being petty at the start of the year. And there you have it, everyone. A random revisit to Tycoon and the mapping potential that comes with him. But hey, maybe I wasn't the only one who didn't make this connection. Is it useful? Without a doubt. Is it reliable? Yes and no. Is it essential for locating the lunar island? Actually, yes. If you haven't found it already, that is. Use the information wisely. Thanks for watching, folks. Well wishes to all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.